Hey guys, how's it going? So I got this Malta Guinness drink here from um, like an African food store that's uh, not too far from me, and they got some different stuff there that uh, just interesting to try stuff that I've never had before. I know this is a popular drink overseas in a lot of places, different kinds of Malta drinks. I guess it's has it's made with barley, and uh, but it is not alcoholic. So you can see that there. If you can see that, it's not really zooming in very good. It's not, but it does say non-alcoholic malt drink, Malta Guinness. It says vitality, goodness, and energy. Um, has a little bit of vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, B6. Has fat, sodium, protein, carbohydrates, energy. Ingredients are water, barley, malt, maize, sorghum, I don't know what that is, sucrose, caramel, hops, vitamins, contains barley. Guinness, Malta, and the harp device are trademarks brewed under the license in Ghana by Guinness Ghana Breweries. So I guess this is from Ghana. Interesting. So I just looked at some other reviews, some taste tests on YouTube of this, and kind of got an idea of what to expect. They say it, it's very much like grains and stuff, and um, it might have kind of like a beer taste. And I used to, you know, I'm a recovering alcoholic, and I never was really a huge fan of beer, even though I would drink it, you know, drink a lot of it. But usually, if I had the choice, it was like... Um, hard liquor and you know usually with soda or something like mixed drinks and stuff like that. I was never really a huge fan of the taste of beer and uh, so I don't know if that's what this is going to taste like or not but this doesn't have alcohol in it so that's fine. And I wasn't even prepared for this video because I didn't get a bottle opener which I need so um, yeah I'm going to be back and we're going to have to grab a bottle opener real quick. Here we go. Bottle opener. So, put my up here. Uh, I'm probably just going to regret drinking this now, but I think I'm going to drink it right out of the bottle. Some of the other reviews poured it in a glass so you can see it. And basically, it's just really dark. And when you pour it out, it has a really thick foam. Um, it has like a like wheat on the bottle there. This is a glass bottle. Ooh, let's try it. I don't even know if I know how to use a can opener. This looks good. Okay. I've opened it. It's too late to go back now. Okay, yeah, it definitely kind of has like a beer kind of taste. I don't know, or smell, I mean. Kind of grainy, I guess, like other people have said. Somebody said it smelled like soy sauce. Well, one of them, I mean, not this brand. I would say it does kind of have that kind of beer smell. Whatever. Let's try it out. Yeah. That's all that this makes me think of is beer. A non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> but it's not bad, though. I mean, this would be kind of like one of the better beers. Um, it has a pretty smooth taste to it. It's not really rough. I don't know really how to explain it. It's not bad, though. It's not as bad as I was thinking it might be from the reviews. I could definitely finish this bottle. And even though I said, you know, I don't really like the taste of beer, but this reminds me of it, but I like this. 
you know, there were some beers that, that tasted better, like Corona and... I don't know. Corona was one of the main ones I can think of, but I don't know. I don't know if this is kind of like a like an ale, like darker. Hmm. Hmm. Really strange. Seems a little bit strange to me that this is kind of a popular drink in other places. It's not a bad drink. I mean, but it's not going to be replaced in Mountain Dew or Pepsi, you know, which I need to quit drinking too. But still, um, I mean, I don't know if this probably doesn't have caffeine in it. It's <clears throat> yes, it is carbonated. I'm not going to feel too bad about finishing this, though. I might get another one sometime. It's not something I'm going to want to drink all the time, though. Looks like maybe it has like a harp on the, I don't know what that is on the, this picture here. Probably not a harp. It probably has something to do with grains or something. Or that's just their symbol or something. I don't know. That does make me want to burp. Hmm. Another thing that I got from there was like a ramen noodle packet, but it's, um, I don't remember what it's called. It's not, it's not ramen, but it's basically what it is. It's a different name. It's a popular brand there. And I got this onion chicken flavor, which I haven't tried yet. I also got a coconut water in a can and it had, um, like chunks of coconut in it, which was, it was pretty good, but it was kind of weird for me to finish. I think I'd prefer this over that to finish the whole thing because I didn't want to finish the coconut water thing. Not that it was bad. It's like a couple drinks of it was really good, but then it was like too much for me to finish the whole thing. And the texture thing might throw off some people because there's, you know, chunks of coconut in the water. This doesn't have chunks of anything in it. I'm just going to try to finish this quickly. It kind of has that aftertaste of a beer because because of the hops and barley, I guess. It's hard for me to put down like any kind of flavor. Now, I remember seeing that... <clears throat> I thought that there were some like chocolate Malta drinks. Uh, so I was thinking maybe this was chocolate or something, but it's not. I'm not really a drink reviewer, so I don't know what to say. Personally, I'm a little bit surprised, though, because that I, that I can enjoy it more because I saw a lot of reviewers that didn't like it as much. There's some little dots on the bottom of this. Bottle. I don't know if that's for any purpose or what, but you probably can't really see them, but how they're spaced out and stuff, it seems like maybe that's not random. Just, uh, get a big spire. Looks like it's got a ways, so 12, 19, something. Best Bite. I don't get that. 24. 24, 12, 19. <laughs> what is the... Well, I guess, the, okay, that was, so the 12th would be December, so it's... That just seems backwards to me, so... This is good until almost Christmas, then. It's probably going to take a couple more drinks for me to finish this. So if a non-alcoholic beer is your thing, then this is kind of up that alley. 
it's a little sweet. <clears throat> it is sweet. And it's probably even better just to sip on and just let it last a while instead of just chugging it like I am trying to finish it. Uh, <clears throat> but I just want to get it down for this video. So this is uh, better than the coconut water for me. I don't remember if they had any other drinks that I'd have. It's a pretty small shop and um, they have a cooler with some drinks. They got some cooler with some fish and some meat and stuff that they have. And they've got random, you know, they've got crackers and the ramen noodle stuff, like I said, just a lot of little things like that. You know, there's basically like a couple aisles. So it's just a little corner store. They've got couscous and I don't remember what all they've got. I think this drink only cost maybe a couple bucks or something. Not not any more than a soda does really, so mm. kinda wishing I wouldn't have chugged this. <laughs> okay, there's like one drink left. I'm going to finish it off. It's going to be it. That is it. It's gone. So, Malta Guinness. Not bad. But it's not going to be all the time for me. But I can see why people can like that, though. But pretty cool to try different foods and drinks. So just wanted to share that with you. Go out and try it and let me know what you think. God bless, guys.